Is marriage promised to everyone who desires it? No. Sorry to break the bad news. Explain. Well, Isaiah tells us that in the last days, seven women will cling to one man and say, just give me your name and I'll pay for my own bread. So it's not about a lack of faith. It is a statistical reality. We live in a world of sin. Men are incarcerated. Men are gay. Men are not interested. Men are unemployed. Men are in jail. So there are a shortage of men. Um, So everyone is not going to get married. But if they're not, God can make that all right with you. Um, And I always tell singles, none of us are really single because we're all engaged to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And he's been waiting longer than any of us for his mate. So (laughs) get a life, people, (laughs) you know, and live it to the fullest. So no, everyone is not going to get married. And you know what? I challenge every single person, whether they're going to get married or not, to live life as if they were never going to get married. Um, I think that if that becomes your mindset, that your focus shifts to how you can be more fruitful, more productive, and more fulfilled in the state you're in. And that can only heighten your pleasure if you happen to get married, uh, because you will be a more complete and whole person. Two halves don't make a whole, two wholes make a whole. And um, marriage should never be anyone's goal. It should be an inspiration that you meet someone and you go, wow, this person adds so much to my life, makes me a better person. I wanna spend my life with this person. Other than that, why even bother to have the goal? You'll just frustrate yourself because if it's not time to have that desire, you'll just be unhappy. Premier Gospel.